Hey guys, okay, real quick, I want to show you the bedding, the new bedding that I put in for the big tank, but I want to show you this little position that Rio does when he's sleeping, and it's so cute, he's just, he puts his paws in front of him and it seems like he's stretched out, but he looks really comfortable. On a huge pile of his own nesting, and sleeping very peacefully, as for her, she always sleeps in that corner. Or not corner, but on that side of the wall. Don't know why, but they're doing well. And I added in their food bowls. Their wheels are still um, drying right now. So I'll add that later. But yeah. I put the mice in here while I'm cleaning. Because they don't fully trust me yet. And I don't fully trust them to let them run around my closet without escaping or chewing my things up. So I put them in here. And if you look really closely, you can see the size difference. And it's pretty big size difference. Minnie is about that big and he's about that big. But yeah, so I'm going to let them out really quick and show you guys the tank. This is corn cob bedding, by the way. Um, I just got a big pack of it. I got about um, 28 liters, I think, maybe 30. But it's a really big bag. It's over there. It's Katie, Kate cob bedding. It's bedding and litter, so it works either way. It's not too dusty, and it's almost like kind of a pumice or a rock kind of feel. But it's really nice. I like how it looks. It looks very natural, and it goes with my theme. So, mm -hmm. oh, and I also collected more branches outside, and I need to put these in the freezing for two days, three days. And the reason why I took these ones was I was helping my neighbor this morning on the roof. And he was trimming his trees down. And these have moss on it that the hamsters, or not hamsters, the mice really love. And it has these things and it's full of goodness. So I bought a bunch, not bought, I brought a bunch. And he gave me some really big pieces too that are like maybe that big. And he put it in his own freezer because he's just right next door. And my freeze is not big enough to hold those, so I asked him to hold it, and he said that's fine. So yeah, I got some of these, I can't wait to freeze them and put them in the cage so they have more things to climb and eat. But yeah, I won't be putting them in the baby's cage just because I want them to grow up and build a stronger immune. But these guys, I'm going to put in, and hopefully we are all going in today, right? No running? Come on. Do you want to come out? There we go. Okay, Minnie's out. And how about you? She doesn't like coming on hands, but she doesn't mind um, like just putting two paws up, but then once she puts, if you force her, or even if, she just doesn't want to do it, so I try not to force her. I'm still trying to tame her. Minnie can go in your hand automatically it's just she does not so still in the process but it's getting there she used to not even come up to me at all so that's a big improvement come on come on little girl she hates coming out of these things by herself though so I don't have to worry about her escaping but in the future she'll probably learn how to get out I think she's, she's scared so do you want me to just dump you in there? Do you just want me to dump you in there? Come on, sweetie. Okay. You're just going in then. Minnie gets really freaked out if I put my hand in here. So I'm trying to go slowly. Go ahead. There we go. Okay, so that's that. And I haven't put their wheel in yet because I'm, I'm cleaning it. But yeah, I think they're going to like this new bedding because they didn't have full bedding over there. They only had some over here. And when I cleaned it out, it was pretty dirty, so I'm pretty sure they're happy to have new bedding. I'm just going to film them a little bit and then turn the recorder off.
Okay, well, that's all I really have to show, but I want to add more than a thing. Um, when this girl right here gets to be their size, and that's going to probably take another few weeks to a month or so, um, she will be, I will be introducing them to these mice, and as you can see right now, they are fighting, and that is what I mean by, um, dominance and having two mice. When you have two mice, this is what happens, and they fight over territory and, do well, not territory, but, like, who's, who gets to be the boss in the, um, their little clan, but in this case, there's only two, so it's a lot harder on them. And when there's three, whenever you get female mice, you should always get three. Um, I did not know this at the, when I got them. And when I got them, people always said female mice shouldn't be alone. So what I thought was, okay, I'll get her a friend. But it turned out to be worse because they're fighting. Um, not too often, but here and there they do get these kind of fights that you just saw. Um... And so when I add the little girl in, and they get, they get, she gets to be their size, and the introduction goes well, I will add her to this group, and the fighting will get um, spread out towards three people, so it won't be as severe and it won't be as long. The fighting will actually end um, pretty quickly, maybe a week or so, um, since there are three, and the it gets distributed and the power gets distributed instead of just having two, but. Um, they aren't drawing blood, so it isn't a serious, serious fight. It's just to see who's the dominant one in the group. But, yeah, they just do some, I'm pretty sure they're going to fight right now. Minnie is the one who usually starts it, but sometimes Lulu does start it. So you can see what I mean. But, yeah, um, after they fight, they settle down a little bit, and then they start again, and then they settle down, and sometimes they just stop for the day, or then they'll pick it up tomorrow, or sometime. But yeah, Minnie, I think she's going to start another fight later today, just because she's been starting fights a lot. <sighs> but yeah, I can't wait to add another girl to the group, so that they can finally have a hierarchy and be a good little mouse group but once I do add another one and it is successful then I might add another girl so it makes four or maybe I'll add two girls make five just because this tank is pretty big and I can add levels and it'll just be it'll be nice to have a big group and the bigger the better well not all the, always but usually um, so that is all I have to say and now they're fighting so I'll talk to you guys later bye